Quick disclaimer before we get into the video, this bong was used for a thumbnail. It has not been used for any other purpose in the last five years. So, don't do drugs, kids. What's up, guys? It's Kyle back with another video. Today, I'm going to go over seven ways to motivate yourself. Because the reality is, I see a lot of times people just don't know how to get started. And they constantly beat themselves up. But the reality is, if you're watching this video, you are capable of great things. You are capable of the best. And all you got to do is not be your own worst enemy. So, if you like that idea, smash the like button, hit the notifications, and don't forget to subscribe. And also, friendly reminder that we are giving away a bottle of Nautica Voyage Cologne. So, if you want to be entered for that, subscribe to the YouTube channel and subscribe to my Instagram. All that information is listed down below, and you could be entered to win, and I, there's a fly in here. And this is the sixth time I've tried to film this video, and this fly is not going away. So we're winging it. Anyways, all that information will be listed down below. You can be entered to win a bottle of amazing cologne. So anyways, number one is to surround yourself with good people or like-minded people. And what this means is in your life, there's going to be a lot of naysayers. And the more success you have, the more people who are going to be negative towards you. Which is why it's really important for your main circle to consist of people who aren't yes men. You do need to have people telling you when you're bat crazy. But you don't always need to have people pulling you down, telling you it's not the idea. You know, this idea is not going to work. People don't need to tell you you're crazy. Unless you really are, but it's a fine balance. You want to have people who are always hyping you up. You don't want to have people telling you that, you know, you can't do it or it's a stupid idea. Uh, so it's really important, especially in your main circle, friends, family, make sure there are people who have your best interests in mind. And that's honestly essential. Number two, prioritize your life. So it's really, for me especially, and maybe other people are different, I have 52 ideas a day, 3,000 ideas a week, and I couldn't possibly keep myself organized if I didn't write things down, prioritize what I'm going to do that day. It's just the way my mind works, and I could be totally different than everyone else. But for me, it really helps to prioritize things, make a list, whether you're focusing on getting the new promotion at work, whether you're focusing on building a business, whether you're focused on building a uh, family or your relationships with friends or family, whatever your main goals are, set those as your goals. That way you have one or two go small goals to work on at a time for the big picture instead of just having 10 things going at once, getting lost and not getting anything accomplished. If you stay organized, prioritize things, you will see a change. And number three is to take care of yourself in general, but mentally make sure, you know, you, if you need help, if you need someone to talk to, you're getting counseling or you have a friend you can talk to physically. Um, that's my big goal this year. You guys have heard me talk about it in other videos. I am on a keto diet right now and we're going to start doing some gym videos. Hopefully if you know, all the weird stuff gets gone and you don't have to wear a mask in the gym that just keep the politics out of it um but anyways make sure your mental health is good make sure your physical health is good and uh take care of yourself visually you know um try to dress nice you know um i just did a hundred dollar challenge video you don't have to spend a fortune to have a good uh set of clothes good set of clean clothes um and you know you'll find when you present yourself in a more professional manner that you not only feel better, but people also take you more seriously. So if you take care of yourself mentally, physically, and visually, it's just going to strengthen your approach to life. It's going to strengthen your success in life. Um, so honestly, that's the most important thing you can do. Number four is, is a weird one, okay? Find something you enjoy. And this goes back to number one when you have people always telling you this is stupid ideas. Number four, don't be afraid to bounce from idea to idea. When you're trying to find what makes you happy, don't be afraid to try different things. Don't be afraid to leave a job to go to something else as long as it's financially responsible. Don't be afraid to be spontaneous and try new things because you never know when you're going to find what really speaks to you in life. 
Number five, and it's really important to keep this separate, whatever you do for a living is cool, great, but number five is get a hobby, and that hobby should be different from what you do for work. And that, you know, your hobby could be fitness, your hobby could be cooking, your hobby could be collecting, could be anything, but you do need to have an off switch in life. You can't work all the time. You can't, you shouldn't, to the best of your ability, shouldn't bring work home with you. You really should try to set that aside, have a hobby, have something that you can do just to decompress almost. It really gives you a fresh, clearer state of mind and can make all the difference sometimes, which is number seven. Um, just change your mindset in general. Um, a lot of, and I'm guilty of this too. Sometimes, you know, when things go wrong, you just put your head down and you feel sorry for yourself. You think the world is against you and it sucks. And the cold, hard truth is the world is against you but it's against everybody. Very few people in this world are born with a silver spoon. I know I have had to fight for everything I've ever had. You j it's just, if you get yourself in the mindset of feeling sorry for yourself and expecting pity, then you are just never gonna amount to anything. And, and, and that's the harsh reality. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Get up and do it. If you want something in this world, you just need to take it. No one is going to hand it to you. You can earn it, and I know you can, but you need to stop waiting for it to drop in your lap. You just need to take it. And number seven, leading into that, remember, I keep talking about bad people in all this life. There's a finger right here. I'm trying not to get, you know, in trouble with YouTube, but this finger, give it to anyone who is negative to you. There's a difference. Now, before we get into how harsh you need to be, there's a difference between constructive criticism and just being an asshole. If people are just shitting on you, being a jerk, belittling you, telling you everything sucks, have no interest in doing anything other than putting you down, get them out of your life. If you can't avoid them because they're customers on a public forum, and this is from personal experience, you're going to get attacked, especially the more success you have. It's jealousy and envy. It's ugly as shit on them, but it makes you look damn good. So just turn your cheek. Remember, they hate you because they aren't you and they can go themselves. I haven't figured out how to do editing, so I'm doing my own editing, <laughs> but you guys get the gist. Don't let the haters talk to you like that. Don't fight the haters. Let me let me rephrase that. Don't fight haters. Just leave it alone. They're going to make themselves look like idiots because that's what they are. If you have nothing better to do than belittle someone, then you are just a freaking idiot. But if they're attacking you, it's because you're doing something right. So turn the other cheek. Let them make themselves look like an idiot. Tell them to go screw themselves and keep kicking ass.